When it comes to pinning, I use a quilting pin. They're, they are from the Imperial, one and three quarters of an inch long. And for those of you with metric, they are 4.5. So they're quite long. But why I use the long ones is that, you know, when you're pinning someone and say you're taking in the sides, my pins, these are big, so they go one after the other. I mean, you can buy smaller pins, obviously. That means you've got to put more in because you want the person to feel how much it's being taken in. You know, you don't want to put a pin there and a pin there and a pin there because that's not going to really give them the feeling of how much it's going to be taken in. And what can happen is that you could, if you do that, and then you um, take it in and they put it on, they go, oh, this is really tight because they didn't get the feeling of how it should be. So I use my pins like their seams and that's why I use these big ones. So, and my pins will always go one after the other so that I'm trying to give that person, you know, as close as I can, the feeling of how much it's going to be taken in. If I'm doing something like taking in the back of jeans or taking in the back of trousers or I've got a band that's quite thick, then I'll use these hat pins. They're about $2.50 a packet to buy in any haberdashery store. That's Australian dollars, obviously. Um, but they're great because they can go through a really thick, um, a thick band. The other thing that I do is, if I'm doing leather or something that's really thick, I'll just, I, I bought a big um, bowl of these smaller um, bulldog clips. And I use these bulldog clips when I'm doing something like that, particularly leather or suede or something really heavy that my pins are definitely not going to go through. So I use the bulldog clips. And the last thing I use for pinning sometimes when, for example, you've got a fabric that's really fine and you're pretty sure that the pins are going to fall out of it. So what I do is I've just got a, a container full of safety pins. And so I'll use the safety pins. And usually that's when I'm, say, taking up the shoulders or something and the pin is just not going to, to stay. So I'll use the safety pin to, to pin that, the shoulder. Or perhaps it's the straps. You know, when you get, um, you know, rat tail straps or really fine straps and it's hard to pin them with those then you use, that's when you would use your safety pins to pin the straps, say, to the back. You know, pull it over the front to the back, take away the excess, and then use your safety pin. So, that's the things that I use for pinning.